in John chapter 4, verse 13 to 14. John chapter 4, verse 13 to 14. The Bible says, Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall taste again. 14. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never taste. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Close your eyes. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, O oh Lord, let the living water flow over my soul tonight in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let the living water flow over my soul tonight in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let the living water flow over my soul tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're watching Evangelist Joshua TV. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe today. We are continuing for our midnight prayer point. Daily midnight prayer point, day 11. Daily midnight prayer point, day 11. Our working scriptures in the book of John chapter 4. The Bible says, in, in the B part, the Bible says, But whosoever drinketh of this water, what, the, what does the Bible say? The Bible says, He will never taste again. The person will never go hungry again. The person will never go lack again because God is there to satisfy you. God is there to make provision for you. God is there to make you happy. God is there to bring blessings to you. He said, you will never taste again. You will never go poor again. You will never be delayed again. You will never remain down again. The Lord will bring you up because never taste again means that there is hope again. The faith and the strength and the grace of God has come upon you. Praise the living Jesus. So by the grace of God, we are going into prayers on water. So I would like you to get your water ready. Because this water, by the grace of God, this water will bring healing. This water will bring transformation. This water will bring preservation. This water will drive away any negative spirit assigned against you. Don't worry. As you drink this water, by the special grace of God, there will be signs and wonders and miracles in your life in Jesus' name. Our Confession Bible verses is taken from the book of Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 25. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 25. The Bible says, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean. From all your fitness and from all your hiders will I cleanse you. May the Lord cleanse you today in Jesus' name. Our second Confession Bible verse is taken from the book of Psalm chapter 1 verse 3. Psalm chapter 1 verse 3. The Bible says, and it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in the season. Its leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever it doeth shall prosper. The Bible says, You are planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in the season. Your leaf, your leaf of destiny, your leaf of glory or blessings shall not wither. The Bible says, Whatsoever you lay your hand upon shall prosper in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray. Look at the look at the Ezekiel. The Bible says that uh, it will cleanse you away. Look at the Psalm chapter 1, verse 3. The Bible says that uh, you are going to be planted by the rivers of water, that in your season of greatness, the Lord will continue to shower you blessings. And whatever you lay your hand upon shall prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise and worship for 15 minutes. Praise and worship for 15 minutes. Get your water ready. We are going to pray on that water tonight. I pray for you that uh, the Lord will use this water to bring forth miracle in your life in Jesus' name. The Bible says right from the beginning, the Spirit of the Lord move upon the face of the water. Tonight, the Spirit of the Lord will move upon this water you are holding in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. You can open the water if you are using a bottle of water. Or if you are using a plastic, no worry. The blessings of the Lord will go in there. I want you to shout this prayer upon loud and clear. Shout it well. As if today is the last prayer you are going to pray forever. Prayer point number one. Say, I satisfy this water in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Say, I sanctify this water in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Declare it many times. Say, I sanctify this water I'm holding in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I satisfy this water in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I satisfy this water in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I satisfy this water, O Lord, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number two. Shout it loud and clear. 
So, oh God, arise by your resurrection power and breathe upon this water in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise by your resurrection power and breathe upon this water. Breathe upon this water. Breathe upon this water. Breathe upon this water. Breathe upon this water in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise by your resurrection power and breathe upon this water. Breathe upon this water I'm holding. Breathe upon this water. Breathe upon this water. Breathe upon this water. Breathe upon this water. Let your spirit flow in this water. Let your power flow in this water. Let your virtue flow in this water. Let your fire flow into this water. Flow, 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 flow. Power of God, flow into this water. Power, power of God, flow into this water. Power of God, flow into this power. Resurrection, power of the Holy Spirit, flow into this water. Breathe upon this water. Breathe upon this water. Breathe upon this water. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Purpose number three. So, so Holy Ghost fire, overshadow the body of this water and convert it to divine healing and power. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, overshadow the body of this water and convert it to divine healing and power. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, Overshadow the body of this water and convert it to the div and convert it to divine healing and power in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Overshadow the body of this water and convert it to divine healing and power. Convert it to divine healing and power. Convert it to divine healing and power. Convert it to divine healing and, and power. Convert it to divine healing and power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number four. Say, so, O oh Lord, empower this water for signs. Wonders and miracles today in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, empower this water for great signs, wonders, and miracles today in the name of Jesus, O oh God, empower this water for signs, wonders, and miracles today in the name of Jesus, O oh God, empower this water for signs, wonders, and miracles, empower this water for great signs, wonders, and miracles, empower this water for great signs, empower this water for testimony, empower this water for healing, empower this water for deliverance, empower this water for protection, empower this water, oh God, for peace, empower this water for he divine healing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Problem number five. Say, Lord Jesus, let this water challenge every hidden poison in my body and push it out by fire and by force. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, let this water Challenge every hidden poison in my body and push it out by fire and by force. Push it out by fire and by force. Push it out by fire and by force. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, let this water challenge every hidden poison in my body and push it out by fire and by force. 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 In the name of Jesus, this water, I command you in the name of Jesus, challenge every hidden poison, every hidden infirmity in my body. Put them out. Push them out. Push them out. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number six. Shout it loud and clear. Say, Father, as I drink this water tonight, let the spirit of peace, joy, and revival rest upon my soul. In the name of Jesus. Father, as I drink this water tonight, let the spirit of peace, joy, and revival rest upon my soul. In the name of Jesus. Father, as I drink this water tonight, let the spirit of peace, joy, and revival Fall upon me, rest upon me, fall upon my soul, fall upon me, 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 fall upon me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Problem number seven. Say, Father Lord, as I drink this water tonight, let the spirit of strength, healing, restoration rest upon me. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, as I drink this water tonight, let the spirit of strength, healing, restoration fall upon me. Let the spirit of strength, healing, and restoration rest upon me let the spirit of strength healing and restoration rest upon me 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 in jesus name we pray amen prayer number eight say you this water as you enter into my system today go and cleanse me in the name of jesus you this water as you enter into my system today go and cleanse me go and cleanse my body Go and cleanse my spirit. Go and cleanse my soul. In the name of Jesus, you this water, as you enter into my body system today, go and cleanse my body. Go and cleanse my spirit. Go and cleanse my soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number nine. So, oh Lord, as I drink this water of fire tonight, let it wash away any curses, sorrow, and sickness programmed into my body. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, as I drink this water of fire tonight, let it wash away any causes, sorrow, and sickness programmed in my body. 
Wash it away. Wash them away. Wash them away. Wash them away. Wash them away. As I drink this water of fire tonight, O oh Lord my Father, let it wash away any causes, any sorrow, any sickness program in my body. Wash them away. Wash them away. As I drink them, anything that is not of God in my body, be washed away. Be washed away. Be washed away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 10. Say, Father, as I sprinkle this water in my house tonight, let it serve as a protective hedge around my life. In the name of Jesus. Father, as I sprinkle this water in my house tonight, let it serve as a protective hedge around my life. In the name of Jesus. Father, as I sprinkle this water in my house tonight, let it serve as a protective hedge around my life. Let it serve as a protective hedge around my life. Let it serve as a protective hedge around my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number 11. So, O Lord, as I use this water to wash my feet, I decree that my leg will prosper and no evil will behoosh it. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, as I use this water to wash my feet tonight, I decree that my feet will prosper and no evil will bewitch it. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, as I use this water to wash my feet, I decree that my leg, my feet will prosper and no evil will bewitch it. No evil will bewitch my leg. No evil will bewitch my feet. No evil will bewitch my leg. No evil will bewitch my feet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 12, the last prayer point. Say, Father Lord, as I sprinkle this water in my house tonight, let the spirit of darkness disappear by fire in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, as I sprinkle this water in my house tonight, let the spirit of darkness disappear by fire. 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 Father Lord, as I sprinkle this water in my house tonight, let the spirit of darkness disappear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray the spirit of darkness will disappear in your life in Jesus' name. As you drink that water, may that water make you whole. I pray, may you share, your, may you share testimony concerning the manna water today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this podcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. So join us tomorrow for another Midnight Prayer episode. I pray the Lord will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.